Hey, Matt Scratch here. So, uh, Nash is actually buying his second car already. I know he's only nine, but remember, he has my influence. So, uh, and I actually, uh, I'm the guilty party that found the car. I was uh, scanning to Gigi, which is like our form of Craigslist here in Canada, and one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I found this car, and uh, unfortunately, it sounds like the guy was going to crash it if somebody didn't buy it soon. I couldn't let that happen, and uh, Nash volunteered to uh, pull $300 out of his savings account, which we're going to run down to the bank here right away and do. And uh, we're going to run and get this car and uh, and save it from the crusher. So I'll flip through the pictures quick here and just give you a little preview of what we're going to pick up. You can see it's not mint, but for $300, we're pretty excited to uh, to get it. Excited, bud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay, can you count that, bud? Yeah. Grandma. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, First bit of trouble on the road here. You can see our dolly fender is just breaking a little bit there. Um, unfortunately, this dolly just really bangs on these rough roads. So uh, I'm going to strap it back out of the way because uh, I can't quite break it off. And then, uh, well, we can't get it strapped back safely, so we're going to break it off. I've already been doing this for a couple minutes. We're just about to the car now and I just noticed this really cool sign here so I had to uh, stop and check it out. Old Allison Chambers tra tractor up there. Oh look at that, somebody put a piece of uh, eavesdropping there. It's still very cool though. Okay, go ahead there bud. 300 bucks? Mm -hmm. Today either. There we go. Perfect one. Uh, we had both doll, dolly fenders when we started out, but uh, <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah, not the first time that's happened either. This thing just rattles everything off. It. This is going to make our day go a bit slower here. I just broke uh, my adapter from my impact driver here. I was going to use this to change over all the uh, wheels. It's just a quarter inch, but it is uh, very powerful. And uh, that's why I'd had troubles with these adapters breaking in the past. This DeWalt one held up good for a long time, but it picked a really poor time to break here. Now I'm going to be stuck uh, using hand tools to get all those... Uh, Wheels off. Oh, that didn't sound good. Wow. Bring the camera over here. I gotta admit, guys, this car's pretty rough. I put this 2x4 under the jack and it's still going through the frame, so, uh, yeah, she's, she needs some repairs, all right. There's a tire in the back here that might be usable. There, that's working a little better there. What do you think, Dad? Diamond in the rough? I don't know. I hope this door is going to stay. Why wouldn't it? Golly. Yeah, 
There's one. Noise. Looks like it's turning. I think we'll just, uh, I'll drive ahead a bit and that will straighten it up if I have the wheel cut the other way, I think. I just pull ahead and cut. You winning yet, man? It's just about to load it. Mm-hmm. Back her up a little bit too far. Well, no. I think what do you want to do? I think that's not bad there. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Sure. I can always move again. But I want it by it this way because the defender actually hits wide cars on this. Oh, okay, when it turns. Okay, fair enough. I paid four hundred dollars for the dolly. So. Oh, and four fifty for the car. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and it's so long. You got some good deals on these. You'll be able to invest in an electric winch soon. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me which way you want to cut. Well, this way a little bit more. Or? Whatever. No, it needs to go that way. If anything. Okay. Okay. God, this is tough. A big wide old tank. She yeah, is. She is. The, the tire's even on the ramp? It's just about, it's just coming, it's just, it's just coming on to it. How's that side? The bumper's hidden here. <laughs> I might need to get a couple of two by fours going on there. Oh, you're just coming up now. Uh, there it is. Here's your other, uh... Oh! Here's your other tank. Oh, nice. Is that working, Dad? Yeah, there it's going go. up. I... Is that dated? <laughs> Lost I, remember. I remember those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. in the shed. <laughs> I have a four by four truck. I should sell them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't. No, don't encourage him. Okay, guy. <laughs> Well, you got a cheap truck, you say? Yeah, uh, 79, 78 F-150 4x4. Oh, yeah. yeah. We need a 4x4. We do off-roading videos, but we do that with the car, too. <laughs> we have a Dodge Neon. Oh, yeah. Been there, done that. And I do snow plowing videos, but I use the Neon for that as well. <laughs> See how far into the snow you
We just stopped to check the straps quick here. Everything's going really good. The car's actually towing really smoothly. And uh, we do have a long trek home though. I mean, uh, it was three and a half hours to come here. Around that three, three and a half hours. And then of course we can't make the same speed on the way home. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take us a while, but it's worth it. Car's pretty nice for 300 bucks. I mean, there's some issues for sure. The frame's a little rotten in places and stuff, but uh, well, we're about 45 minutes into our trip and everything's going smoothly so far. We just stopped for gas. We're using very little fuel so far, so. Well, we're about halfway now, guys. Everything's still going smooth. I just got out to uh, check the straps here, but they're staying nice and tight. Luckily, the uh, Lincoln wheels fit this. If you didn't notice, it's the same bolt pattern. And we got good quality tires. Normally, we're towing on ratty tires, but today we have uh, quality tires all around, so we're pretty happy about that. Looks like everything's uh, going smooth here. My mom's been following behind in the PT, my mom and dad, just to... Uh, watch everything and bring up the tail make sure that the cars aren't coming up on us too fast Reesey Bear's even there you liking the trip so far Reesey Bear? yes just pr press the red button okay oh. so anything you say can be heard Had another fuel stop and you can see a uh, terrible rain here so we're just gonna get some gasoline here only 20 bucks for that not bad we went about 150 kilometers which is uh, around uh, what's that about 90 miles went about 90 miles on that the next day we made it home uh, safely and everything and we're just getting a meteor unloaded off the dolly here and then we're gonna tow it back to uh, to the other building there next to my Cadillac it's gonna be parked inside out of the weather so that'll be nice so yeah I'm gonna get the straps off here and uh, get it unloaded Nash is just checking over his new prized possession gonna have to get most of this out it's all uh, mossy in here, so the dash and stuff isn't too bad. Headliner isn't even too bad. We're missing one window and the windshield, the uh, driver's window's there. It's just rolled down right now. Look at all the moss that's growing on this. Is this considered patina or uh, or vegetation? What do you think, bud? I'm not sure what this number here is all about. I have a, oh, it's got a fuel cap on it, that's good. The tank actually didn't look too bad. But I mean, we're gonna have to pull it all off the frame anyways see if we can get a look underneath right now so the trunk pan has some holes in it and stuff too the frame rail doesn't look too terrible over on the right side there but the uh, the left side here definitely needs some help I had to put this tape here to protect my rim this is my nice wheel for the uh, one of my nice wheels for the uh, Lincoln. It's not all corroded up.
Yeah, we're not sure we might sell this dolly after this one. Collecting up too many cars here, too many projects, so it's too easy to bring them home when you have a cheap way to bring them home. So uh, we might have to get rid of that cheap way just to, uh, to solve that problem. Maybe focus on bringing home running cars at least if we're going to bring home cars. Right here you can see the, this is the only damage we did uh, moving the car home. My fender contacted right there. I think the uh, tire rubbed a little right there on the other side too, just on the sharper turns. I was trying to take all the corners wide, but uh, traffic was pretty heavy, so it was difficult in some areas. Um, one thing I did is instead of tying off the steering wheel, I, uh, I tied off underneath right on the steering linkage and that uh, way you don't have all that slack that's in the steering box and uh, the steering column and whatnot. You, uh, you eliminate half the slack that way and so uh, that really helped us out. We learned that when we towed home the 53 Buick because uh, it had a lot of slack in the steering and initially I had just tied the wheel and that wasn't working so uh, tying it off underneath is the way to go. Look at this crazy moss on here. Hard to even tell if the hood's dented with all that uh, moss over it. Looks pretty straight up on the roof and the hood. Trunk lid. A few dents down the side, of course. And the back bumper's a little tweaked too, but uh, I think we can straighten that. It's kind of annoying. Somebody just put a chain there in the middle and yanked on it. Too lazy to crawl under and hook on the diff, I guess. Nothing. Awesome. Good stuff. What do you think there, Mr. Nash? Proud owner behind the wheel? Straighten up a little now. Straighten up, bud. Turn it a little bit the way you had it. Okay, swing the other way a little.
Okay, um, let's hold that for a minute and I'll block the wheel. We got the uh, Meteor safely in the storage shop here and uh, we're uh, pretty happy to have this car. Um, if you didn't know, Meteors are a Canadian only deal and uh, so that makes it pretty rare and it's a one year only body style so uh, we're, we're thrilled to have it in the collection here. We But this car does have a nine inch rear end in it. So that in itself is worth more than we paid for the whole car. The 289 under the hood is, uh, it's not seized up. It does move, but it only moves a little bit, which tells me there's probably a mouse nest on top one of the pistons in there. I've seen that quite a bit before. And uh, it means I'll have to pull the heads off for sure probably disassemble the whole engine to uh, get it all cleaned up and running again. And uh, this car is going to need a lot of frame repairs. I'll just give you a, a little peek underneath here. So there's the end of the torque box. You can see the whole uh, collects up with dirt in here. And there's there's not a lot of solid metal left right there. So uh, we're going to have to lift this body off the frame like this is this is the end of the frame there and it's, it's barely even connected to anything. Definitely going to have to lift the body off but uh, you know the body like this is the fender bottom there that's a common area for rust and it seems to be solid. The uh, rocker panel here seems to be pretty solid even until you get right to the back. You know it's uh, it's got some redeeming uh, qualities to it and uh, now she needs to learn anyways um, it would be a great great learning tool for him and uh, thanks for watching Matt's Garage I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe for more and have yourself a great day